Hey guys, this is Matt. Uh, just an update on the on the record, what's going on. Uh, some good stuff, some not so good stuff. Uh, I have got to the point where I've got most of the cab assembled. We'll get that to a second. Get to that in a second. Uh, started on the bed. Uh, that's as far as I got with that to this point. Uh, got the front end put together. Uh, this kit has a lot of issues. Uh, my stacks here. Well, let's show, let's start with showing you what, where we're at. I've got the engine's detailed uh, a little bit. Uh, just some all clad two on the for the chrome. Get the turbo on the air cleaners did those in all clad have a mesh screen on the, the stacks um, does have opposing wheels for the front which is kind of nice uh, went with the aluminum for the fuel tanks uh, did do some wash in the wheels so you, you can get the detail in the on the lug nuts you can see those a little better uh, I haven't decided whether or not I'm putting glue in the top on uh, got a nice little bed in there some carpeting uh, the doors open those go together fairly good until you put the door panels on uh, when you put the door panels on they don't want to go on the hinge so you kind of got to play with them uh, I broke a hinge and had to drill it and redo it the visor here I went and did all clad two on that because uh, it was just plain now's where it gets into fun uh, so far I mean it's fighting me the whole way uh, it's going together nice it's looking good uh, we'll start with this if we can get it under here and take a look uh, where this cabin mounts these pins in here I don't know how well you can see you can't see them from where I'm sitting but there's pins here that line up with some parts on the cab those don't line up you got a pin under here that won't line up this pin does and then there's two pins underneath the sleeper that don't want to line up uh, you kind of you know every kits different hopefully they're not all this bad uh, so you might have to fight that a little bit uh, to get it to line up and go together my real issue comes into play when you get the hood together uh, following directions which normally I don't do but I'm not this is only the second record or semi I've done so I want to follow directions uh, so I make sure I get stuff in the right places they have these nice little mud flaps that go on the backs of the fenders got all those glued on I go to put the hood on and you know on on a rig you kind of want to put it on in the open position to start it's kind of a bear so you get the hood on now we'll go to close it oh no look these nice little mud flaps hit on the chrome pieces for the air cleaner. Fun, you say. Great. This is going good. So you take it off to. Okay, maybe we'll, we'll put it on this way. I'm sure that's broke, but well, we can get on there. All right. So 
So, we think we have the hood on. Yep, pins are lined up. Let's open it. Oh, guess what? That's as far as you get. So if you detail the engine on this, you're not going to see it. Uh, again, the fenders hit the air cleaner. I mean, you could probably leave these chrome pieces off. Uh, another piece it hits is these are these nice pieces that go in here. Uh, those will get knocked off. But what I think I've decided to do is on these hinges because it lifts on and off uh, cut the bottoms out just so the hinge slides down just so it's not sliding all over the place and if I want to display it with the engine off I just have to pull it apart like that um, which is unfortunate because it would be nice with the hood hood open I mean you really gotta get it open like that to see anything and once you mount the bumper I don't think it'll open that far um, so it has some issues um, make sure this piece is a solid single flat piece uh, mine was a little warped not too bad uh, so make sure that lines up uh, because my frame is wonky as Scott puts it I kind of like that word it doesn't line up where it's exactly supposed to uh, the frame is off centered and cockeyed but the tires all line up right so I'll just have to make adjustments where the where the bed mounts on the chassis back here that's not going to be too bad so that's where the where the record stands and that's where we're at for now uh, like I say it's it's a fighter uh, I just got it to a point now where I can set it aside and work on the on the bed and just step away from that for a while hide it put it in the closet let it let uh, things simmer down and go back at it other than that it's going together looking good uh, I wouldn't say going together good but it's looking good as I get it together so that's all I got I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good evening. Have a good weekend.